Welcome to this video, where we'll be discussing everything you need to know about the book Die With Zero by Bill Perkins. If you're looking to maximize your life experiences, make strategic decisions about time and money, and ultimately die with no regrets, this is the book for you. Overview of Die With Zero First, a bit of background on the author. Bill Perkins is a successful entrepreneur, hedge fund manager, and avid poker player. He's written this book to share his insights on how to live life to the fullest, while still maintaining financial stability. Bill Perkins' book, Die With Zero, is a unique approach to living life to the fullest by prioritizing experiences over material possessions. Perkins believes that we should plan our life like a financial portfolio where we invest our time and money strategically to maximize our overall happiness and satisfaction. The book is divided into three sections, with each section covering one of the three key themes of the book, time, money, and experience. In the first section on time, Perkins argues that time is our most valuable resource, and that we should spend it wisely. He encourages readers to identify their high-velocity and low-velocity activities, and to plan their life accordingly. By doing so, we can make sure we're spending our time on the things that truly matter to us, while still being mindful of our financial situation. In the second section on money, Perkins explains the three financial stages of life, accumulation, preservation, and distribution. During the accumulation stage, we focus on earning and building wealth. During preservation, we focus on maintaining that wealth. Finally, during distribution, we focus on spending that wealth in a way that maximizes our life experiences. In the third section on experience, Perkins emphasizes the importance of maximizing our experiences. He highlights the power of the peak end rule, which states that we remember experiences based on how they end and how they peaked. He also encourages us to seek out experiential diversity, as having a variety of experiences can lead to a more fulfilling life. Understanding the book's key concepts. Planning your life like a financial portfolio. In this section, Perkins suggests that we should plan our life like a financial portfolio by dividing our time and money into high velocity and low velocity activities. High velocity activities are those that have a short shelf life, such as skydiving or traveling the world, while low velocity activities are those that can be enjoyed over a longer period of time such as learning a new skill or spending time with loved ones. By doing this, we can make sure we're spending our time and money on the things that truly matter to us, while still being mindful of our financial situation. Perkins also identifies three financial stages of life, accumulation, preservation, and distribution. During the accumulation stage, we focus on earning and building wealth. During preservation, we focus on maintaining that wealth. Finally, during distribution, we focus on spending that wealth in a way that maximizes our life experiences. Maximizing your experiences. In this section, Perkins emphasizes the importance of maximizing our experiences. He highlights the power of the peak end rule, which states that we remember experiences based on how they end and how they peaked. Therefore, we should make sure to end our experiences on a high note and make sure they are enjoyable throughout. He also encourages us to seek out experiential diversity, as having a variety of experiences can lead to a more fulfilling life. Applying the Die With Zero Mindset In this section, Perkins provides a framework for applying the Die With Zero Mindset to our own lives. He recommends a three-bucket system, where we divide our time and money into three categories. Now, immediate experiences, soon, planned experiences, and, later, retirement or legacy. By doing this, we can ensure that we are prioritizing experiences throughout our life, rather than just saving them all for retirement. Perkins also stresses the importance of regret minimization, and making choices that minimize the chances of regret later on. By doing this, we can live a more fulfilling life and ultimately die with no regrets. Overall, the key concepts in Die With Zero provide a comprehensive framework for living a fulfilling life by prioritizing experiences over material possessions, 
planning our time and finances more strategically, and applying the three bucket system. By doing so, we can make sure that we're making the most out of our time on earth and living life to the fullest. Applying the book's lessons to your life. Practical applications. Perkins provides many practical applications of the die with zero mindset that readers can apply to their own lives. One of the key takeaways is prioritizing experiences over material possessions. Rather than accumulating more stuff, we should focus on accumulating memories and experiences that we'll cherish for a lifetime. Perkins also encourages readers to plan their time and finances more strategically. This means being intentional about the activities we choose to participate in and the investments we make. By doing this, we can make sure that we're spending our time and money on the things that truly matter to us, while still being mindful of our financial situation. Potential Challenges Of course, there are also potential challenges to living life with a die with zero mindset. One of the biggest challenges is balancing present enjoyment and future security. While it's important to prioritize experiences, we also need to make sure that we're saving enough money for retirement and other future expenses. Another potential challenge is addressing societal pressures to conform to traditional ideas of success. We may feel pressure to accumulate more wealth or achieve certain milestones by a certain age, even if those things don't necessarily align with our personal goals and values. To overcome these challenges, Perkins recommends that we focus on regret minimization and making choices that align with our personal values and goals. By doing so, we can live a more fulfilling life and ultimately die with no regrets. Overall, applying the lessons of die with zero to your life involves prioritizing experiences over material possessions, planning your time and finances more strategically, and being mindful of potential challenges that may arise. By doing so, you can live a life of abundance and fulfillment, and ultimately die with no regrets. Conclusion In conclusion, Die With Zero is a powerful and insightful book that encourages us to live our lives to the fullest. By planning our life like a financial portfolio, maximizing our experiences, and applying the Die With Zero mindset, we can achieve a life of abundance and fulfillment. If this sounds like something you're interested in, we highly recommend picking up a copy of Die With Zero. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.